where we came around it in the first place was it was built out of some of the previous other experiments we've had with the robot that weren't quite ready to be put out there or were a bit dangerous to the robot limbs. So on the technical side, we had the issue of how do you actually make an animation? How do you pose the robot? Um, we came up with the solution of actually working with the hardware team. We managed to make a solution where you could physically pose the robot legs how you want them. If you want to do a push-up, you could just kind of push the body of the robot down a bit and lift it back up, or, you know, raise an arm and have it wave at you. We had to have a way of being able to move the robot legs and record that back, but also record it in a way where you could kind of, you know, not have to hold the robot in the air and pose every leg. The other issue we had was with just the general usability because it's quite a complicated tool with a lot of different buttons and features. So Math came up with some really good concepts and tried different styles and different ways of kind of showing the keyframes and the data and laying things out and kind of eventually come up on a style that's quite simplified but also has this kind of range of features that you can use um, to still create complex animations. The aim of the animator was to kind of give people more ways to play with their robot, um, have them more interaction with it, and just kind of let them express themselves through the robot. And we're really excited to kind of see what people will make with it, hopefully see some videos of cool animations. But yeah, it should be coming soon.